Hello and welcome to this video. I am Sonindu. In this video, I will explain you how to create database object like table, stored procedure in the Azure SQL database and how to execute select statement and the stored procedure on those database object. In our previous video, we had created Azure SQL server and the Azure SQL database. This was the server name. This was the database name, TorDB234. And we had connected Azure SQL Server from the SQL Server Management Studio. Azure SQL Server was connected from the Management Studio. This is the ProDB234 database. Now, here we will be creating table. We can create table either by clicking the new table from this interface or we can also execute the SQL query to create the database. This is the way we can also create table but as I have query ready, I will be executing the SQL query. So, let me click on the new query. This is create table statement. We will be creating employee table. Just execute on this database. Employee table is created under this database. Now, let us click this node. Yeah, this is the dbo.employee table. See list of columns here. Employee ID, employee name and the address. Same column, right? Now, let us see the what are the keys here. There should be primary key here. PK underscore employee as we had created the primary key on the table. So, now this table is created in the Azure SQL database that is ProDB234 under this SQL Server. This should be visible in the portal also. Now let us go to the portal. This is our SQL database. Now let us click on the query editor. Yeah, now we have to provide the credential. This is my login. I have to provide here my password. Now let us go there. See, yeah, ProDB234. This is the list of tables. So, this is the table that I had just created. Employee ID, employee name, address, employee table. Same table that employee, these are the columns. So, we have created one table here. Now, let us insert some record. Okay. First, I will insert the record using the management studio. Then, I will go to the portal query editor. I mean here. Now, let me insert three records from here. Just simply insert statement. Three rows is affected. So, three rows should be inserted there. Select star from this employee table. Let me execute this one. This C2 have been inserted. Now execute this select statement in the Azure portal. I have just pasted it here and run it. There are three rows just inserted here. We had inserted this from the management studio. You see there is the employee ID 101102103 here also, but we have not given that 10123. That is because we had created the table using the identity column. If we see the design you will see employee ID was the identity column. Now let us see that from here. See identity column. This is identity specification. Okay, this will start from 101 and this will be implemented by 1. This is identity column. Means for this column, we do not need to explicitly assign any values. So using the SQL Server Management Studio, we have inserted first three rows into this table. Now try to insert one more row from the Azure portal. Now this is the insert query. Let me run it. Okay. Now, this should be available also here, right? Same thing. Now, let me execute. Till there is three row. One more row should be inserted here. Yes, see. This is same address 4, 104. I have inserted using the Azure portal. So far, we have created one table. Now, let us create one stored procedure. Stored procedure is one of the important database object to access and insert the data in the table. Now, let us create from the management studio. I have query ready for that. I will execute and create the stored procedure in this database. This is simple stored procedure. This basically will face the three column from the employee table based on the employee ID. This would be employee ID. So let me execute this one. Now the stored procedure is created. Now let us see where it is. This is programmatically stored procedure. Here is the stored procedure will be named get employee. Yeah, this is the get employee. There is only one parameter that is ID integer type. Now, let us see this in the Azure portal. This is stored procedure. Here, see, this is the get employee just we have created. Input is ID and there is return integer. Now, let us try to execute this stored procedure from here. Before executing this one, let us see the data. Then I will execute the stored procedure. Okay. Now, there are four row. This stored procedure will take the input as employee ID and will return three columns. Right? This one. Execute, see. This I am just passing 103, so this will return David and address 3, this row. 
just let me execute this one run yeah this return 103 debit and address 3 if we change this one this should return first row 101 shonmendu address 1 now let us execute this sp here also you see this return 103 debit address 3 if we change this to 4 this will return the same data 104 same address 4 so far we have created table in the azure sql database we have inserted data we have executed select statement we have created stored procedure and we have also executed the stored procedure in the azure sql database now let us try to delete the data from here before deleting let us see what are the data are available till now let me remove this one and execute this there there are four row, right just i will be deleting this record 102 john address 2 that means i have to delete the employee id of 102 emp id is 102 right deleted one row is affected that means this data is deleted now let us execute the select statement this should be deleted now you see 102 row is deleted now let us try to update the record from the azure portal emp id is equal to 101 so this address one should be updated with new address this is just the update statement let me run it here yeah, one row is affected let me run this query select query here yeah, this address has been updated here right 101 new address. now let us execute this statement in the management studio now the 101 address is updated with the new address and employee id of 102 is deleted so in this video we have covered how to create database object like table and the stored procedure in the azure sql database how to perform select statement how to execute stored procedure how to delete and how to update if this video helps you please like the video and subscribe the channel thanks for watching